Good evening and welcome to my second stream for today. Today I want to, um, this past week I uh, did a couple streams where I was looking at the features of the uh, two expansions for the original Zoo Tycoon, the Marine Park and the Dino Park, and uh, <clears throat> didn't quite get as far, as, I mean didn't qu quite get to do as much as I wanted to look at with practicing those things. Um, so today I want to look at some advanced exhibit types I didn't get to this week. I want, specifically, I want to look at uh, building exhibits for animals who like mountains, um, building combination land and sea exhibits, both for regular animals and for, di and for dino expansion animals. I want to um, look at creating show tanks. And ultimately what I want to do is there's a, a one or two animals that have combination land and sea exhibits, but also do show tanks. And if I can figure out how to pull that off, that would be great. Because the whole point of these practices is to um, make sure I'm ready for when I uh, start building Mega Zoo for real, which I'm going to start doing in June, after uh, sometime in June, uh, after May celebration. But it's going to take me a few uh, It's going to take me at least a few streams to build Mega Zoo. Even if I marathon stream, you, you saw that uh, both of the streams this week went on for almost two hours. And uh, we only got up a few exhibits, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Mega Zoo will probably be an ongoing series, but it's going to be a zoo with everything. The, reg the, um, the regular animals, and then, of course, the marine park and the dino park. So let's go ahead and start uh, practicing these advanced exhibits. Um, unlike my stream earlier today, I actually was able to open the game in advance, or I should say, remembered to open the game in advance. So let's go ahead and play Freeform. Uh, basic grass large, maximum money. And I also think that when we do Mega Zoo for real, we're going to have to start with the regular zoo creatures. It looks like a, I think one of the reasons we were hemorrhaging money is that Marine and Dino Park um, stuff is more expensive to build and maintain. So we're going to put together a healthy regular park first, I think. All right, as always, I clear out the beginner path it gives us. And now let's come in. And since we're do since we're combining things from all the sets, we're going to do a uh, I'm going to pick a neutral path for this. I like this path. We'll go Rainforest Rock Path. It goes with everything, even though it says Rainforest. And let's put in a Dino Recovery Team for when we build some dinosaur exhibits later. And first, let's pick an animal that uh, likes mountains. So let's come over to animals. I think llama is one of them. Yeah, I think llama is one of the animals that likes mountains. And it says uh, base of graystone and a western juniper tree. And let's go ahead and max out research and conservation. And because I'm doing a combination of the combination, we're just going to leave everything checked. So let's uh, actually for our mountain exhibit. I also don't know how terrain adjustments interact with walls, so. Well, yeah, I do, but let's build the llamas in this little corner 
section over here. This is going to be our little llama exhibit here. And let's bring in some gray stone as the base. So this is going to be a llama. And these are regular animals, so we're going to just use our regular fence for this. And mountain is really one of the simpler things I'm going for. And we're going to assign we're get, we're going to give each animal a dedicated zookeeper as well. Let's bring in two maintenance workers to start and a zookeeper for the llamas. All right. Lots of red on the here. Cluster hills, all right. Dirt, snow, more animals, more foliage. Wow. Fresh water, shelters. So we got to build some dirt and snow into here. All right, no more comments on dirt. Let's get some snow going. We still need more snow. He's not, they're not complaining anymore. All right, we need an area of fresh water. So that's good to go. Okay. Uh, all right. And they like the Western juniper. More, uh, more animals of the same type. That's enough animals of the same type. Shelter. We got to build the shelter first, otherwise, we may not be able to place it. Foliage rocks cliffs. All right, so let's bring in some rocks. Okay. 
They don't like that rock. We're going to place a few of these until it tells me they have enough. All right, they have too many rocks. And let's actually move these stables over to the edge. Let's move these over to the edge of the exhibit. Foliage, and then we'll work on making the mountains. One of the cool things about the foliage in this game is uh, you can use them as decorations outside of exhibits as well. We do not have Western Juniper yet. The llamas are going to have to wait. Oh well, let's work on the hills then. And it still needs foliage, but we will not, we don't have the correct type. So mountains was not quite as tricky as I thought it would be. All right. I want to try building a dinosaur exhibit where the dinosaurs are large enough to um, potentially trample. So. Allosaurus, rainforest with a fern bush. Actually, let's define the area first. So we're going to try and build an Allosaurus exhibit right now. The point of the point of doing an Allosaurus exhibit is just so I can get more practice on trample prevention. Okay, we need a fence. This is a dinosaur fence. And these, we won't be able to see what they like until they hatch. So let's put these in. Let's bring in our scientist. I generally assign one employee per tank or exhibit, as the case may be. The way I was doing trample prevention for the big animals well, I only did two big animals last time, but the way I did trample prevention is I uh, lined up all the trees in one corner, kind of out of the way. So let's go. Uh, that's what I'm going to try with this exhibit. If trample prediction prevention works, we're going to move on to uh, If trample prevention works, we're going to move on to uh, uh, we're hemorrhaging money again. Show tank will be next because I want to do that while we still have a lot of money. And then we'll look at combination exhibits after that. 
I want to do one regular animal, one dino. This is an interesting, weirdly laid out zoo we've got going right here. Because we've got llamas right next to the allosaurus. Alright, the eggs are hatching. So now, and I know these guys are going to be unhappy. Grass, fresh water, grass and fresh water. Let's fix the terrain issues first. Still more grass. Fresh water. Allosaurus is kind of like a small T-Rex, but not as cool. Rocks, more water. All right, shelters. Dinosaur cave. Rocks. Foliage. And I think it said it likes the fern bush. And to prevent tra trampling, we're going to lay all these out in the corner. Excellence in exhibit design. And I saw we had access to more trees. So I'll go see if we have our western juniper for the llamas now. Okay. I think the aisle sources are going nicely. We'll see if they trample that stuff. Not enough shelters. Okay, let's replace these shelters with a full size shelter. All right, do we have our, do we have our correct tree yet? Yep, we do. And these are regular zoo tycoon animals. So trampling's not a thing. All right. I like it. Okay, we're good. Let's pause for a moment here and see how our allosaurus are developing. They're getting happier. And so far, they haven't begun trampling the little garden I planted for them back there. All right. 
Now we're going to build a tank. Specifically, we need an exhibit tank before we can build the show tank. And we are going for this one. I can tell you the show I want to do is Orca. Do I not have the dolphins yet? I kind of want to. All right, we can do Orca. It's fine to do Orca. And for this one, we don't even have to paint the terrain. All we have to do is build the tank wall. Oh, and I almost forgot. We need to leave space for the filter. which we do not appear to have access to yet. We have not yet unlocked the filter. But we, we left a little notch for when we do have it. All right, these animals are going to be really unhappy at first. But let's bring in their staff. Two shallow rocks foliage. And their favorite ocean foliage is the seaweed. All right. Well, we need to find the, the we need to find the staff entrance for the exhibit. So we can raise the tank. And this one I want I need to be able to see the floor while I work. We'll leave the wall there because adjusting the wall does. All right. Rocks and foliage. Basic seaweed uh, for the foliage. The point of us creating a basic exhibit is so that in a few minutes, once we have this exhibit settled, we can uh, start working on building a show tank. Ooh, they sure want a lot of rocks and we don't have a lot of choices yet. I hope we're almost done with rocks. All right, we are. All right. Seaweed. Do we have seaweed? Not yet. We don't have the seaweed yet, so we're going to leave this on our to-do list. And we're going to come back to these orcas in a little bit. They're pretty happy for now. But let's 
see. I need to take out this bit of path here in the front. And there's a little notch for the filter. And let's build a path. We want to make a nice big show tank. Which doesn't have to be as big as the exhibit tank. And they're not going to be able to go into the tank quite yet. But I want to go ahead and build it up. We're show tank. We're gonna call this Orca Show. In order not to overwork the uh, regular care specialist, we are going to set a separate marine specialist to take care of the show. For right now, we're not ready to get things going. We're we're still waiting for our seaweed so we can make the animals happy. Meanwhile, so we'll add the show specialist to payroll once um, once we're ready to start actually putting the show together. We will come over to structures. And let's let's toggle marine real quick. Okay, give me one moment. There's special scenery involved with the show, but I'm not seeing it. We probably haven't gotten it yet. Grandstands are in place. Let's do a path around the back side of that as well, as well. I think I did that right. And let's actually differentiate this path a little bit. There we go. Now they know that that's a special area. Come check on our allosaurs. And the allosauruses are happy. And our llamas are happy. 
once I get the show tank going. But I'm not I'm not going to do anything else with the orcas until we get our uh, filter. Until we get the filter and the uh, seaweed. So we're going to leave that there for a while. We have an interesting zoo here. <laughs> a weird combination. There's like no theme to the zoo whatsoever. But that's just because we're practicing advanced concepts. The mountain was surprisingly easy. Oh, now we have a third orca to worry about, and we still don't have everything we need to keep them happy. Oh, they're staying pretty happy anyway. Hey, baby orca, do 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 do, baby orca, do do do, whatever. <laughs> See, now I got that stuck in your head for the next two months. So yeah. Let's see in terms of animal t show objects. Orca ball. Let's build a trick area. The show, for the most part, we're going to keep pretty simple. We're not going to take the time to research and learn all the different tricks. Uh, I hope it gives us these filters soon. Because my orca tank just got dirty. The next thing to do after this is uh, Variance on the combination land and sea, which is really the big thing I want to work on. Maybe penguins. Well, I definitely want to do one of the dino exhibits with that. Oh. The trick areas are set and ready. Over here, we're going to do our combination dinosaur. Hmm. Was a guest really just dumb enough to touch the fence? Oh, we're lagging a bit. Sometimes this game ran. All right. More animals and objects have become available. Do we have our tank filters now? Because that's kind of an emergency. We do. Do we have our seaweed yet? We do not. Is there an alternative we can use? They don't like the seagrass. Okay, they don't like that one. All right, we're going with the sea star. I think we're in business. Let's get them happy with the foliage, and then I will set up the show. Okay. 
Now over here, I like to space out the foliage in the tanks. It's not like the dinosaurs where you got to prevent trampling by spacing them out. I like to be them to be randomly assorted. All right, it's well suited. Let's begin coordinating the show. First, let's go into this tank and bring it down to view uh, where it, it's where it. Let's bring down the height adjustment to where the guests are going to view it. And now the next thing to do, I think you know, go, go down one more. And now the next thing to do is to bring up the show tank so that the tops are at the same height. And now, as you can see, the tanks are aligned with height. There's a little trapdoor for, I'm going to set show frequency to never until I set this up. Admission, we're going to make it infrequent for right now. And we're going to bring in another, we're going to bring in another staff who's going to do just this show. And we're going to come here and take all the tricks out. And we're going to do a wave to crowd. And then play with ball. And then we're going to do sideways breach. Reverse tail walking and then play with ball again, spray water, and then wave goodbye. And we're going to set it for frequent and $12 admission price. Now let's just see what, let's just. Meanwhile, let's come back into here. We're going to put in stage doors because I forget how the backdrops work. And now we're just going to sit here and wait and watch and see what happens when the show starts. Okay, guests aren't coming in. Is that because I have the stage doors in the way? Yeah, now the guests are coming in. All right, so the door between the two tanks opened. The orcas are coming in, but not the baby. Babies don't perform yet. So there's the wave to crowd. There's the play with ball. And now they're going in to do some tricks.
All right, this is cool because I didn't get to do this when we practiced the marine expansion the other day. And when they approach, they approach the marine specialist over there in order to um, get treats as they do tricks. All right, they're going to play with the ball again. I wonder if there's a way to move the stage closer. I think that's something I'll worry about. Okay, they did the spray water, but that was supposed to be towards the front. Oh, well, they're doing the wave to crowd again. Zookeeper, get on that. All right, so the show's ended. We drew a nice crowd with that one. They're going back into the exhibit tank and the little dividing gate closes. And it looks like having a show in position might be one of the solutions to bankruptcy that we were having before. So when we do the mega zoo, where we build the marine area, we want to build a show early on. How many guests do I have right now? Well, we got a lot of guests. I think we can read. Wow, that's a lot of llamas. That's certainly more than I put in this exhibit. I put in four llamas, and there are six now. All right. What am I building? What am I, I want to do a combination exhibit next. We're going to do a crocodile exhibit, I think. I don't think the crocodiles need too large an exhibit. <sighs> no, but that's too small. All right, there's a little crocodile exhibit. The Orca show is definitely drawing crowds. Now with combination land and sea, you do a regular zookeeper. We're going to raise the price of the zoo to 30.
that looks like it's dirt terrain that they're coming off of. All right, I'm going to assume that's dirt terrain. And I'm going to paint the ground with salt water first and replace it with a tank later and see what happens. Oh, hey, I didn't see you in chat at first. Uh, thank you for coming back in. Today I'm trying some advanced concepts. Um, right now I'm experimenting with a combination land and water. And ultimately the last thing I want to do today is build one of the animals that does combination land and sea with a show. Because I have a feeling that I'm, that's going to be a mess to do. Now, I'm not really concerned about exhibit size because this is just a practice zoo. So my plan is to uh, make the exhibit first. So uh, for land and sea, what do you do? You build the fence first and then you build the tank or how to, what's the best order to do that in? Um, I was going to do penguins, but they're the ones I experimented with the other night. So uh, I may do them later. The Allosaurus exhibit was to practice anti-trample. The Llama exhibit was so I could practice animals that like hills. Um, much simpler concepts to me than a uh, combination land sea. At least I got a show tank running. I wasn't able to do that the other night. All right, so I'm going to build the fence. So what do I do? I build the fence around the whole area and then draw the tank area around where the tank's going to go and then make sure everything lines up. All right. Um, let me see if I figured this out. So there's the exhibit area, and now I need a tank area. And actually, I wanna I wanna keep the tank area simple, so as not to mesh with it, not so as not to conflict with the decor of the regular area. And we're gonna make we're gonna call this croc tank. And the exhibit is a it's giving me an exhibit name. Um okay. We're gonna call this crocodile. All right, it combined the things, okay. But now we have to line them up. And there's a stripey line that tells me they're aligned. And now I come over here and build my filter. All oh, right, it's great. It's a uh, water terrain. All right, let's build that filter.
I need them to be aligned. Oh, yeah. I didn't see escapes when I did the penguins, but just in the interest of safety, let's bump the tank up one, and then let's come over here and pull up the exhibit by one as well. So quick question, for combination land and sea, do I do the zookeeper or do I do the marine specialist or do I do both? All right, let's come over here to terrain. Zookeeper, okay. And is this, is this little area I gave him enough to do his work? All right, space for food. All right. So I've raised the tank up one to prevent escape. So now I have to do the same with the exhibit. All right. You've been very helpful um, the last couple streams. So thank you for that. By raising the exhibit up one from ground level, that should prevent escape, I think. All right. And yeah, the little stripey area appears. And so now, you think that's safe enough for me to drop the animals in or should I go up another level? All right, it's safe. All right, animals. Even though it's not an advanced exhibit concept, I kind of want to look at that reindeer later. But there's, uh, where, where did I put my crocodiles? There they are. Let's grab a zookeeper. All right, seems easy. Now let's just see what they need. Foliage and rocks. So a little bit of land, water reed, but we can do that in the tank area. So let's just put... Okay, they don't like that rock. Yeah. I kind of want to do a oh, sea lion. I kind of want to do a dolphin show as well. Just let me see. Orca stage. That means there's more tricks available. I'd better go adjust that show in a minute. But let's finish taking care of our crocs first.
This exhibit is well suited, but they were still flashing green. So they were still giving me the smileys. So I'm going to keep putting the plants in for a little bit longer. All right, that's enough plants. All right, the crocodiles are set. So we did a, I do want to do one more practice combination land C, but I think that'll be a combination land C show. Meanwhile, let's come over here and modify the show. Now that I have another tank object. All right, now that we have the stage, I'm going to redo my script. We're going to start with a wave to crowd, play with ball. We'll do the breach. And then we're going to do a breach on stage. And then a spray water, and then a wave to crowd. And this show, I think, is a little bit shorter than the other show I made. The original script. So, all right. You know what, there, since there is one other game that I need to test features in tonight. Oh. Control G. Yeah, I see that. In fact, I've been playing with that on. I don't know how it turned off, but whatever. All right. Um, animals. I want to do sea lions. All right, so sea lion is a combination land sea show. So I think that's going to be um, my I think that's going to be my final goal exhibit for tonight because if I can pull that off, I think I will have uh, done all the uh, special exhibit types I wanted to do tonight. The dinosaur was although I do want to do a combination land sea dinosaur, I do want to do the plesiosaur. So let's go ahead and do that first. So let's uh Let's block out. Uh, I wanted to do the plesiosaur last night, but I ran out of time. Or it wasn't last night, it was the night before. Did I just accidentally put that inside an exhibit tank? Or, uh, yeah, let's clear that. That's called my finger being click happy. All right. So plesiosaurs, is there an escape risk or should I, should I raise them a level above the ground too? Yes. Uh, I knew I was going to need three exhibits. So I kind of already went over that. That's why I want to land and see combination. We did practice with the crocodile. I'm doing the plesiosaur so I can practice doing that on a dinosaur level. Um, and let's see, their base terrain type is a Do I even have the plesiosaur yet? No. 
No, there's the Loch Ness. So I don't actually have the plesiosaur yet, I don't think. Let's bring in a third maintenance worker where we have a lot going on in this zoo right now. Well, not really. We only have four animal types right now. Okay, why do, I had 100 guests before. Why do I only have 12 guests now? Um, do guests hate my zoo? Or no, it's a bit overpriced though. We'll take it back down to $25 and increase some marketing. Let's see. Yeah, no, I'm going to wait for the plesiosaur. Meanwhile, I'm going to start uh, blocking out some space for my uh, sea lions. I'm just uh, drawing. So this will be the regular exhibit over here. And this will be the... Uh, show tank over here on this side of things and the path I'm going to clear out when I'm ready to actually build the tank. All right, the orcas don't feel overworked. That's a good thing. All right, the number of guests is coming back up slowly. I know the more animals you have, the more guests you get. All right, so I think the plan is to wait for the plesiosaur. And then uh, after after we do the plesiosaur, we'll uh, come around and do the sea lion. Ah, we have guests happening again. All right, the amount of guests is coming back up. That's good. So I basically scared everyone away when I jacked up the prices before. But hey, you know what this park is missing? You know what I never built? I never built restrooms down here. So we'll put one over here. Not that it matters because we'll be ending the simulation soon. But, and we'll build one over here on this side as well. The crocodiles enjoy their little tank. And in the interest of safety, I'm going to start lifting the land over here. And we'll adjust everything else as necessary when the time comes.
Okay, I think everything's even. All right. All right, for the sea lions, do they have an escape risk and I should raise their land too? Or should I be fine just putting them at ground level? Considering all the tanks need to line up as well. Okay, so I'll just leave them at my normal ground level then. You know what? I'm going to turn off conservation right now in order to rush along this, uh, the plesiosaur. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and create the sea lion exhibit portions and then worry about the show tank later. So sea lions. Is that dirt I see or sand? But that looks like sand. What's the best default terrain to put on the land portion while I'm mixing things up? While I'm setting things up, I mean. Yeah. Once we uh once we unlock the plesiosaur, we're going to uh turn the other conservation categories back on. Greystone. Uh, oh, right. My my bad. Uh, sorry when it gets late. Uh, I have this at a tiny resolution because that's how I could get it to run. But so let's build some greystone, and then uh, all right, let's. Uh, Let's get the grace. Let's build a little gray stone area. And I'm going to do this little area here. That's going to be the exhibit. And over here is going to be the tank. So let's put our fence in. And now let's put a tank in. All right, we're going to call this sea lion tank and sea lion and we're going to bring in our animals and we're lagging a bit. And I'm going to wait till after we put up the plesiosaur to set up the show. Although we just got the Ice Age tortoise, so we do have options. But, all right. We got our plesiosaur. All right, so we'll, we'll finish setting up the sea lions, and then we'll uh, go set up the plesiosaur, and then we'll come back and do the show tank. And um, let's bring in a zookeeper for them. Oh, I forgot my little tank filter thing. Let's 
So what exactly is the benefit of tour guides? All right, they were not lined up yet. All right. There's that. Now I should be able to grab that zookeeper. And give him the assignment. All right. The zookeeper is now assigned to the to the sea lions. I'm going to uh, change the resolution before the next time I stream this. Um, not going to change it midstream. All right, so we have the zookeeper doing his thing. And now that we have that going, let's come back over here and work on my sea lions because I know they need to be, I know they're not, they're not going to stay happy yet. Foliage, rocks. Uh, Too much gray stone, not enough salt water. I'm going to have to leave them as is because we're mostly, but we'll, we'll still deal with the rocks and the foliage issues and raise it a little bit. Water reed. All right. All right, let's get some foliage going. What do we say, a water reed? <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna leave it there because I'm not gonna worry about adjustments to the existing setup right now. And now we're going to take out this path because this is where the show tank is going to go. And now we're going to work on the plesiosaur. But first we're going to turn conservation back on. All right, everything's turned back on. And for, is that sand I see on its picture? And it likes the horse tail. All right, let's see. Uh, I can't tell if that's fresh water or salt water, but we'll, 
we'll do what we can. This is going to be an interesting combination because we use uh, this fence for the dinosaurs. And then they have a water tank also. Let's see here. I want to make sure we're lined up. Sand and brownstone. So let me uh, fill this side of the exhibit with sand. After we after we get the sea lion show going, there's one other game I want to uh, work on. Um, I'll be switching over to Soul Calibur. I'm not actually fighting today. I'm just doing a character creation because I want to figure out how to do. Um, how to get the animal ears uh, lined up for a group of characters I want to create in a future stream. Ah. Also, one of the music streamers I like has gone live, so we may raid them after that. Um, wow. I've I've been on a lot longer than I thought I'd be doing this. All right, let's get into it. Let's build our tank area. Let's make that a little deeper for them. All right, the exhibit is lined up. Let's bring in our animals. And of course, they have to hatch on land, so. Not much else I can do here until they hatch, but we have the scientists working on them. I'm probably not going to do combined animals for Mega Zoo. Every animal is going to have its own area. Probably also not going to do every animal just because there's so many animals in the game. Let's go ahead. Uh, I forgot to build my filter again. Are we at a safe level, do you think? So yeah, we've done regular combination animal. Uh, we're working on dinosaur combination animal now. We've done dinosaur anti-trample. We've done uh, mountains show tank and now we're also working over here on a combination land sea and show tank and this show tank is actually submerged a level this exhibit tank is actually submerged the level is um All right, it's safe. Okay. In that case, once they hatch, we will make the exhibit good for them 
and then we will move on with finishing our sea lions. We have a weird combination of animals here, but again, that's just because this was a test run, so. Let's see what's going on with our llamas. We haven't visited them in a while. We're up to seven llamas. Ah. The plesiosaurs are hatching. Time to get to work. Okay, it's walking to the water. We need brownstone. Let's start with brownstone. Um, foliage and rocks. There's not much I can do about adjusting the terrain at this point. I mean, obviously I'll do better with it when I do the zoo for real, but this is just a practice run. I'm not going to worry about it too much. And their favorite foliage is the horse tail. So let's get rocks and foliage going. All right, horse tail. Here it is. All right, I think I'm getting the grasp of combination land and sea. I just want to make sure I can do the land sea show. All right, we're done with foliage. Oh, it looks like the sea otters also do a combination land sea show. So I'll have to remember that when I'm doing Mega Zoo, because I could be able to do a park that has all five of the shows. All right, let's come back and finish the sea lions. All right. All right, let's build our show tank. Sea lion show. Put in our little filter. And let's bring in You know what? We 
we're gonna we're gonna build them on the short side. And hey, look, this time the Marine Specialist Sage is on actually on the side with the audience. So I'll be able to see the interaction better. All right. Now we gotta. All right, that's lined up. We're gonna set it to infrequent while I adjust the price. We'll make this a six dollar show. And they can't do anything yet because there's no dolphin, dolphin, sea otter. Sea lion ball. Sea lion horn. Sea lion raft. And I didn't make it big enough for advanced tricks, but that's okay. <sighs> All right, so. Uh, Now we got to come over here and bring in a marine specialist to run the show. And I just got to set up the tricks. I want to set up the script real quick. Let's just make sure the orcas are still being happy. They are. Oh, and the third orc has actually grown up and is in the show now. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Let's come back to the sea lion show. We want to start with a wave to crowd. And then we'll do a breach. And we're just going to go down the list. Play with this horn. Play with the ball. Surface spin. And then we'll finish with another breach. We'll make it a $7 show. What? Did I say breach? No, I want that. I want wave to crowd for the goodbye. All right, let's just see how this plays out. Oh, a sea lion and otter show. I might actually try that. Uh, oh, how would I even pull that off? I need like, Two combination exhibits feeding into the same show tank. That's an idea. And that's something I'm going to play with off stream. Thanks for the idea. All right. I see the sea lions aren't nearly as popular as the orcas. But yeah, that's going to happen. All right, I think that's, the sea lions are definitely having this show. I think, and he's happy. I think that's a good place to leave the practice zoo since I still want to practice a bit of character creation in Soul Calibur. So uh, we're gonna go make a person. Uh, Give me a moment to uh, get things loaded up here as I switch the inputs because Soul Calibur takes a minute to come up. But yeah, that's where we're leaving the test zoo. 
I'm just going to leave that running until the other game window opens. Then I'll uh, kill out the Zoo Tycoon so as not to use too many system resource resources. Going to go ahead and hook up my controller for the other game. Yeah. All right, have a good night and um so and I'll I hope to see you on a future stream. I'm going to go uh practice one other I'm going to go practice character creation in Soul Calibur. I'm going to make one fighter tonight and then I'm going to raid out myself. All right. While we wait for Soul Calibur to load, I'm just going to go up to the view of Allosaurus and Llama. There we go. Wait, since when did we get a baby Allosaurus? I didn't even miss, I missed that notification. Interesting. We had a plesiosaurus, oh no, we had an allosaurus escape. Oh, we've got trampled out fences. Oh, we're quitting out anyway, so I'm just waiting for the other game to load. Maintenance worker, get on the get up, do your job, please. Maintenance worker, all right. I forgot to actually start the other game. All right, now we're starting it for real. All right, so we're switching over to Soul Calibur, where I'm going to practice doing the uh, animal ear custom item in the outfit. We're going to do a pony inspired character. Uh, in preparation for Equestria Girls. So we're just going to do my Pony OC Angel Flare. All right, Soul Calibur is starting up. Let me just get that going and we will take out the Zoo Tycoon window. The Soul Calibur window is starting up. All right. Pardon the black screen. We're switching. We're switching games now. All right. Soul Calibur is loading. The zoo has been exited. That was interesting with the dinosaur escape scenario right at the end, but we got through it. And I. All right. There we go. And we're just going to go in the character creator. So my pony OC's name was Angel Flare. Soul uh, Calibur 6. All right, we're going in. Let me just make sure it comes up. All right. All right, the video is running. So let's go character creation. If I remember correctly, she had pale yellow skin. It's been a while since I thought about my OC. Pale yellow skin, a short 
light blue turquoise-ish hair or mane and kind of a pinkish purple eyes. And for this, we're going to go human. Let's set Soul Caliber Six. I remember her being light on her feet. Maxi might even be a good match. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to work. This might be her. Oh, those look cool, but these look graceful. Or more graceful, I should say. Those look cool. Uh, those, or what do these look like? Oh. Uh, yeah, go with those. And let's see, she was a Pegasus OC. Do I want to give her wings? That's something we'll have to look at later. Actually, I think I like the Crescents better. Before we do body, let's do her personality real quick. I mean, before we do the face. Okay, let's get this started. Will you fight me? Actually, I think that's Will good you for her. Fight me? Will you fight me? Will you fight me? Will you fight me? Will you fight me? All right, that sounds like I've always imagined her uh, voice to be. Hey, it's a pony. It doesn't have to be too. All right. Let's look at random faces real quick till I find one I like. That basically we're doing an Equestria Girl style interpretation in preparation for doing the main seven Equestria Girls on my next Soul Calibur creation stream. I think that's good for her face. Uh, she didn't really have eyebrows. Something subtle, but still pretty. And now the hairstyle. That, uh, something short, but I want to see if I can get something similar. Yeah, that's not similar to her style at all. That can work when we're doing Twilight on the main seven. Hmm. On the main seven stream. Yeah, that's not exactly her. We finally meet Gerald. Like a dog after a bone. What's going on? I'm interested in fighting you. Plain as that. Do I have two copies of the game me. open? 
We settle this now. Hold on. Somehow I have two copies of the game open. I seem to resolve that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's not my character at all. That's reasonably close if we can't find anything closer. Yeah, no, that's not her. Two-tone hair. Uh, but that's that. Um, let me just. She had a very particular main style, and I don't think we're going to be able to match it exactly here. That's also pretty close to what she had. What's the what's the long version of that? Oh yeah, that's nice. But I don't think that applies to any of the characters that we'll be making as sequester girls. Maybe a future custom. That's cute also. If I was making a ninja girl, I'd probably go with that. That's close to what I had, but and even does the whole over eye bit. But the other two hairstyles that we looked at were overall closer. Yeah, no, not that. So what were the two we looked at? I said this was a possibility. Yeah, that's nice and clean looking and almost the correct shape. And I said this one was a possibility. This one also does the over eye bit that uh, mine did. I'm having some indecision on those two. But I think with the whole over eye look, this one is a little bit closer to the effect I had going. So we'll keep that. And now we're going to dress her real quick. And also it covers her human ears effectively, which is good. That's good. No. Let's see. I've never done a humanized version of my character before, so. Bear with me. That's kind of cute. What uh Uh, 
that's also a good look for her as long as we pair it with some pants. What does Kitty Meow look like the bottom part? Yeah, hell no. We're not going for mascot suits here. And now let's look at some of these uh, fancy uh, bits at the bottom. Though I don't think I'm going to go with them for this character. Yeah, no. That's not a bad look. Remember, once we do pick... Yeah, let's go back to this one and then pick, pick some bo a bottom that goes with this. Yeah, we don't need any additional layers, I don't think. Once we met, uh, that doesn't really go together. And now we've got the bottom of a princess dress. That goes as well. Yeah, I like I like these pants. They don't exactly match up, so if we can get a belt to go over it, no, that doesn't work. That hides the incongruence in the belt, but it's a little bit over the top and it does clip a lot. I'm almost going to say we probably don't even need to worry about that, even though the belt and the pants don't exactly match up. So let's just turn off this slot. And she was a Pegasus, so. I'm probably not going to give the main seven Pegasus characters their wings. Probably just going to give them all ears. But this character we can give wings to. Give me one moment. I'm having a... She never really did much in terms of accessories. Hmm. Certainly no cape for her. The flag is nice. And it's nice to know we can do Yoshimitsu style flags with uh, other characters if we wanted to. I never realized that was there. Necklace. 
Maybe, but she doesn't really need it. Uh, no, because we want to give her the wings. <gasps> yeah, she's a nice Pegasus now. Or the humanized version of a Pegasus. And we don't need to give her any armor or stuff. Four feet. Ah, those boots are too big for her. And we just froze up a bit. I don't know if it's loading or lagging. I don't know if it's loading or if it's dead, but let's wait a moment and see what happens. Why are we frozen? We have a full lockup. Computer hasn't done that in a while. Never mind. All right, my my whole computer just randomly locked up for a while and I have no idea what happened and I was about to reboot and kill stream and I even hit control delete and now I'm waiting for Windows to give me the yeah cancel that because it looks like we're back live I have no idea what just happened but we appear to be All right. Yeah, that does not go at all. Give me one moment because something All right, I think I fixed things. All right, I have no idea what all that was. But let's get back into it and try and finish her. Boot sandals. That's an interesting combination. And it almost works for the character. Those are some pretty shoes, but not the effect. Once we pick our shoes, we'll be able to create our pony ears and make sure they work. Yeah, that's not her. You know what? Let's stop fooling around and just basic shoes for her. All right. And finally, this.
But in order to make the Equestria Girls work, we need to hide the band. So we need to uh, move it down so it's obscured by the hair. Take down the width. And it'll be a. All right, so we've hit the band. So negative 10 and negative 5 should be our settings for the future Equestria Girls. And negative 1 for move down. All right, we've got our pony ear figured out. So now, since we've come this far in making her, let's just give her colors. I know it says cat ears, but we're using them to represent pony ears. Default character name is Elsa. We got to change that. Her name is Angel Flare. I know that's not a clever, cool fantasy name like we used for all my other custom characters. But this really was just practice to see if we could get the, the humanized pony look going. So now we just have to do colors. So her skin tone is a pale yellow. That seems about right for how I had her. And Equestria Girls, all the uh, humanized versions have the same color as their pony versions. And the ponies come in all colors. So yes, you have blue and purple skinned people and even yellow. So 2511 for the skin tone. And the main color is a light blue. Too much green. Seventeen thirty five for the blue face paint. I'm not going to worry about eye color. It's not going to let me get any closer, unfortunately. Um, purple. Her eye color was purple or a light purplish pink, kind of something in this neighborhood here. And we'll probably put more of that in the clothes to, that was also the color of her cutie mark. 1452, I want to see how that looks. And since they're humans, she can keep her natural white eye. All right. And her cutie mark was actually the Jedi logo. We'll set the clothes to default to that pinkish purple. But uh, yeah, no, we're actually going to set her clothes to white and we'll accent it. So we have 2511 for the yellow, 1735 for the blue, 1452 for the pink. All right. The trim will be uh, the pink.
I'm almost tempted to try making the pants the blue. Let's just see how that looks in combination. Yeah, no, I want to keep her outfit white. But I do want to get the blue in some more. All right. Let's start by making the whole wing her uh, skin color. Actually, you know what we're going to do with the wing? Let's see what happens if we four tone this wing. Uh, pony, uh, pony pegasi don't normally do multicolored wings. So I didn't even consider this a possibility before. What did we say it was? 1452. I like that multicolored wing. But actually, let's, uh, Let's just change it to yellow and blue and see how that looks. With a two-toned wing effect going on. Or even mostly mostly the flesh tone, but But with, but with uh, her hair color highlight at the back. Yeah, I like that effect for the wing. We're keeping her mostly simple compared with some of the other fighters we've made. The shoes. We're going to keep with the uh, clothing being the uh, pinkish purple. And then there's a little bit of an accent area on the bottom, which I'm going to make the blue. And now the ears. These have to be the flesh tone. And the inside of the ear I'm leaving is default. How bad does it look if I uh, monocolor the ears though? We're going to leave the inside of the ears their default color. This will go for all the characters. So we have a we have a pretty white outfit with purple trim that matches her eyes and uh, yellow Pegasus wings in her yellow skin tone with the blue highlights that match her hair.
Now, question. Do we want to give her a tattoo of some kind? No, I think she's fine, fine enough the way she was. I mean, she was always a very simple character design. I like how she's come out, actually. Let's just do her weapon and call it a night. I'm not creating any additional characters tonight beyond this one. I just wanted to uh, make sure I can get could do humanized uh, ponies. So um, her attack, her attack effect is going to be her uh, purple color. And now let's see. The big presence will be purple and blue, I think. The little presence will be yellow. The bigger presence will be her blue. Actually, let's make those her pink. And then And then the holdy part will be uh, let's zoom way in and see how that looks. So yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice the patterning. So you got this nice little pale yellow pattern going along the purple and blue parts of the weapon. That's nice. I'm liking this character. Her simple outfit, her simple color scheme. You don't always have to overdo over the top every accessory piece, heavily armed knight characters. Sometimes simple is better. And this character has a, this character does have an elegant appearance. Very fitting of the original pony form, even as we made her into a human. Yeah, I think we're done with, I think we're done with our reinterpretation of my pony OC angel flare. Let's go ahead and save her. Let's go into CPU fights. Welcome to the stage of history retold. And uh, my laptop usually lags when doing these CPU fights, so we'll see what we can do. Soul of Talon. Be gentle with me. It didn't save her name. We'll go back and fix that afterwards.
I'm thinking doing the mummy from the other day, but... Or the dragon. Let's do my mummy character from the other day. Soul of Sophia. She also has a nice simple design. We don't have to go over the top. We'll just do random. I have to go back and fix her name though. In a cursed castle hall, warriors dance in a masquerade of death. Will you fight me? Karis might be a mummy, but she's not explicitly evil like most undead are portrayed to be. She's more of a neutral character in terms of my roster. Yeah, it looks like Angel Flair took quite the beating. Wow. All right, when I fix her name, I'm going to leave her on the screen so that you may see. So you may have something to look at while I choose our raid. But now that I know that I can do the pony ears, actually, let me go back and refresh refresh my memory on the numbers we used for the pony ear settings. So negative one for up and down, negative 10 and negative five for and zero for size. Negative one, negative ten, negative five. And let's get let's make her name actually take this time. All right, it took it that time. And now we're gonna go into here and put her into that battle animation. Might be too complex. Let's just leave it as is. There she is. Yep. And with that, we're going to leave Miss Angel Flare for tonight. Let me just go find us someone to raid. My playback's lagging a bit. Uh, we're going to raid at IBC Music tonight. So I'm going to set up the raid for IBC Music. Have a good night, everyone, and I will see you soon. And I next time we do Soul Calibur, we're going to do the Equestria Girls Main 7. <laughs> Have a good night.
by the hand you just tap in as I mentioned. You just go and you just go and do it there. Uh, and here are the other four great strings. Do type in. Nice. Uh, if I could tell you what I think that you know, then um, I might against the grain of the mic so <laughs> much. Mm-hmm. 